starting the intro in my car so you know something's about to go down. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby Paglia. I have something very, very exciting, different even, planned for today. So, like I announced on my channel, I think like a couple days ago by now at this point, I said that I was going to be posting three different videos that are somewhat Valentine's Day related, and I'm very excited for this one because as far as I know, only one person has done this, and it was a video that Jenna Marbles posted, rest in peace, when she decided to make a kissing booth for her dogs. I'm going to be recreating that for my dogs because they deserve love too, okay? So, I don't really have a plan. I watched her whole video, but I don't want to completely replicate her idea. I want to, my thinking was I'm going to go to a dollar store, get everything cheap. I'm going to try and get one of those poster boards that like people would get for science fair projects and then kind of like cut out a hole for the dogs to actually sit in and then just kind of decorate around that. That's all I have planned for this video. Um, it's not a hard thing to do, I just thought it would be a cute thing to do to kind of incorporate my pets into Valentine's Day so they don't feel left out. So that's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> I'm warming the car up and we're getting ready. First stop's gonna be Dollar Tree. I don't know if we're gonna have to go to any other stores. Hopefully they have everything I need at this one, but we'll see. So stay tuned and see you at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so here's what I'm dealing with right now. They have poster boards, but they're just like the regular like ones that don't stand up. And I'm looking for the ones that people would use for science fair projects where they could stand up on their own. Um, so far, I have three different things of like this tool decorative mesh that I think we can use to like border the poster so I think I'm gonna get these I actually found a um a kissing booth little decoration so I'm gonna grab one of those too so I think I like this one right here I just don't care for the glitter but I might get that one okay so that was Kind of sort of successful i ended up getting the three different kinds of tool and then i also i got two different um kissing booth decorations because i like them both and they're a dollar so i got this one even though the little hanger is broken but i was thinking maybe like it was the size that i was actually looking for so i could kind of like stick it on top of the poster board and it says look closed open so i like that and then the other one was the glittery one i showed you if you know me i'm like really the biggest hater of glitter so it took a lot for me to buy that but i think that's the cutest one so we have a couple options now unfortunately they didn't have the exact kind of poster board i wanted so says the closest one to me is an office max so we're gonna check there and then if not i think we can go to target as a last resort i just really don't want to go there because i know i'm gonna walk out with more than what i need so i'm trying to avoid that because i have video next week i definitely need to go to target for so <laughs> Okay. 
think uh, they have exactly what I was looking for. So I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. That's kind of the size I was going for. It's just a box. sun shining on us today so i just got back from office depot i bought the poster board that's back there you can see it um unrelated to this video but i also got myself a jaylon hurts eagles jersey I just spent 150 bucks because every jersey I've ever owned is by players that are no longer on the team. I needed a new one and I wanted you guys to know I got a new one, okay? So you're welcome. So, I did also stop into Five Below just because it's near here and I wanted to see if they had any like little Valentine's Day, like maybe hearts or like leather cutouts I could try and put on the board. But then I realized I probably have some at home from like other things I've done. So, hopefully, I have enough supplies for what I want to do, and now I'm going to see you guys at home, and then I'll go over everything I got, and then we're going to start setting up the kissing booth. I'm back home, and I'm going to show you guys the decorations that I found at home, because I don't want to go all out on this kissing booth, because I'm just going to throw it out once I'm done with it, probably. It's not much and it's not really Valentine's Day decoration per se, but I have this little ribbon, which I think could be cute, maybe to do some bordering. So I have that. Also have some flower stickers. Um, okay, well I had these little mini, like paper, not paper clips, but like wooden clips that I was thinking I could use to either attach the kissing booth board that I bought or just to attach something. So I have those now scattered all over my floor. Then I have some random like arts and crafts like sticky glitter things. I also have these like bead acrylic gem slash rhinestones i used these to make the cap for like high school graduation and i have a lot of them left so i think for like some small details since the board is white i kind of hot glue a couple of them on to make it like a little bit bougie i thought i had bigger letters but apparently i don't so i have these kind of letters i have glittery letters I have these super tiny glitter letters, which I don't think I'm going to use because they're too small. But I have them just in case, and then I don't know what these are, but some other letters and numbers. So I think with everything I have, I can put something pretty good slash mediocre together. They're dogs. They're not going to know or care the difference, so... I think the first thing I'm gonna do after I pick up all of these that I dropped on my floor, I think I'm gonna like size out and cut up a hole in the front of it so the dogs can like stick their head in it and then we will get to decorating. So I'm measuring my first victim. Please stay still. You're fine. Okay. Peace. <laughs> Sit. Hey, hey, hey. About right here. <laughs> Goodbye. Look, 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 I made this for you. Cool. I made that for you. Are you going to get in it? So I very horribly cut out the shape that the dogs are going to stick their heads in. This is what I did so far. <laughs> so I think I cut a little bit extra off the top right here. But I'm thinking it won't really matter because I can just hang the sign in front of it. Or since I bought two of them, I was thinking maybe I could put it 
at the bottom here. But that's where I'm at right now. Decided we're gonna go with this kissing booth plaque and then I'm going to take this red and gold tool that I bought from the dollar store and I'm just gonna kind of staple it on the border of the poster board. So at this point, I just decided I was going to take the leftover tool and kind of wrap it around the top border of the kissing booth just because I wanted it to have a little bit more color since the tool is sort of a sheer mesh and then just kind of stapling that on the back. So next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a couple of these little flower stickers and I think I'm going to put them on the actual sign right here, just a few of them, but I am going to use some of the Gorilla Glue to dot them on with the Q-tips just to make sure they don't come off even though they are stickers. I just want to make sure that nothing is going to come off while I move it. Last minute, I decided to put these EXO stickers on, and I kind of hate it. The whole thing of this, like, I hate how it turned out, but I will show you the final product. This is what it looks like. It is certainly not the best, but I never claimed to be good at this. Since the board is officially done, that means it is time for the big reveal. And I'm going to start by trying to put Paisley in it. Paisley doesn't like much of anything these days, so I'm not expecting anything from her. Dante, I think he'll sit in it, but you never know with him either. Is this my best work? Definitely not, but it's for dogs. At the end of the day, this project I slaved all day over was for dogs that aren't going to know the difference between the two. So, this was just for fun, but I'm going to attempt to put Paisley in this. <gasps> Paisley! Are you, <laughs> are you in the kissing booth? Paisley, what are you eating? Hi. No! <laughs> Hi! Hi, puppy! Hi! Hey! Hi, Paisley. <laughs> Where's your ears? Paisley, do you want to go? Do you want to go? Yeah. Oh, you look so pretty. Can I have a kiss for the booth, please? Give me a kiss. Paisley, give me a kiss. Please. Yay! <laughs> oh, hey, that was. <laughs> You're still in there. Oh my god. So I'm thoroughly surprised with how Paisley reacted to that. She actually did so good. I'm so surprised she stayed in it for that long. And now, if this is any indication of how long it took me to make that fucking board. I am now heading to Mark's to do the same thing with Dante, and it's 7.08 p.m. I literally spent all fucking day on this board just to throw it out when I'm done, mind you. And if you're wondering why I'm not just having Paisley come over with me so I could get them together or Mark brings Dante here, 
Paisley is not a fan of Dante or any dog actually. She's a little sassy and um, she just doesn't like Dante, I'm assuming because of how large he is and she's like five pounds. Hi, puppy. Stay. <laughs> Stay. Stay. Oh, you good boy. Stay. Stay. Oh, you look so cute. Stay. Stay. So So that is the end of this week's video. I know it wasn't like my best work, but I just wanted to do it. I thought it was a stupid, cute little thing I could do. So you guys know the drill. If you liked this week's video, make sure you leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not because I post new videos every single Sunday at 5 p.m. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe down below and make sure you put that post notification bell on so you don't miss when I post other things like shorts and updates in the community tab. Also, if you wanna see how these pictures turned out, make sure you follow my Instagram down below. Mm -hmm. I also post a lot of updates on here on my stories, so you don't wanna miss that, especially make sure the Instagram gets followed. And that's it for this week. So thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you next week or somewhere else on the internet. Bye, guys.